Hey everyone, do you have a Coinbase account? If you do, then this is a video you cannot afford to miss, especially if you're buying with debit cards. Over this past week, I discovered that my Coinbase account, which I had been using um, in conjunction with my personal checking account, debit cards, things like that, which I had been purchasing crypto for years, I am no longer allowed to buy crypto using any debit cards on any of my accounts. I spoke with Coinbase. I actually spoke to a representative, a couple of representatives as a matter of fact, one on the online chat and one on uh, the phone. And they told me that they couldn't tell me the circumstances as to why I am permanently, that's right, permanently restricted from buying crypto using a debit card. There was no emails, there was nothing, no notifications on my Coinbase account letting me know of this status change. Now, the, there are different options. You can sign up with a PayPal account, which is actually what I had to do. So to at least I have that as an option. So that way I'm not totally out of commission when it comes to buying crypto. When I first had correspondence with the live chat support, they were pretty rude. I was just too irritated at the, and it was about midnight. So I was really not happy about that. But then I was like, I'm not letting this go. And then I called and I was on the phone for another 25 minutes trying to get anything out of the Coinbase support team none of which could give me any information whatsoever. Been, over the past few days, I've been trying to dig in. I spoke to my, my financial institution. What they told me is there's nothing that was flagged on my banking account information for fraud or anything along those lines. So as far as they're concerned and as far as what I understand, this is totally not on the side of my banking institution. And initially, I thought it was. Initially, I thought, oh, yeah, here it comes. They're really now they're hitting on my bank now, not able to allow me to, to purchase crypto with a debit card. And it may seem like, well, Scott, what's the big deal? There's different options. Yes, there are different options. I agree. But the big deal is, is this a Visa thing? Because what most debit cards are through Visa. And I couldn't find any information stating that Visa is no longer. Um, you know, supporting crypto purchases with their credit cards or debit cards. I, I haven't heard anything about that. If you have, put it in the comment section and let us know. As far as I'm aware, it has nothing to do with my banking institution. Nothing was out of the ordinary. There was no like excessive charges. There was nothing that would, in my view, flagged me and gone on the radar of Coinbase saying, wait a minute, something's not right. Here. So I couldn't even get out from Coinbase. Why, what circumstances could trigger or could initiate this being, you know, your account being disabled permanently. Okay. There's no room for appeals and there's no room for like, oh, well, we sorry, we can go back in and we can re, re you know, remove, we can toggle a switch or something. And then those restrictions would be lifted. From what I understand, once you're disabled permanently, that's it. There's no appeals. There's no anything. This is another circumstance when we have to be aware of when we're buying crypto, creating alternative ways to purchase and having multiple accounts. So you have, you can do wire transfers. You can link your account. My bank won't allow me to link my account. I tried debit cards, credit cards, PayPal. Those are your options. So I would highly recommend everybody. And this is important because again, they're not telling us because it's a centralized exchange. So they're not letting us see how the sausages are made, right? They're just saying, you know what? This is it. That's it. Find alternative payment methods. And the, and the account representatives weren't even empathetic. They were just like, this is the way it is and that's that. One other thing, I've been able to use PayPal. That payment method shows up on my computer, but the payment methods do not show up on my app, on my phone. So if I'm going to purchase crypto using PayPal or an alternative payment method, I have to do it on my computer, I can't do it on my app. And start taking precautions now 
So if something like this happens to you, and if it, if it has happened to you, let me know. If you like any of the content I provide, like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. It's a small click for you, but it's a big deal for me. I hope you're having a great day. And remember, here at the Crypto Dojo, crypto never sleeps.